Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful springtime pastel sky with fluffy clouds using the acrylic paint in your art kit. You're going to need to use every color you have, which is white, red, yellow, black, and blue. You're also going to need some masking tape or scotch tape but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can still paint without it. You need a big paintbrush, a rinse cup with water, a paper towel to wipe your paintbrush on, and you also need an extra piece of paper towel, and that's what we're going to use to make these fluffy clouds. Today I'm using a palette paper because I couldn't find any paper plates, but paper plate, whatever you use to put your paint in when you paint is fine. All right, let's get started. All right, so first we're going to need a piece of paper from our art kit. And we're going to be getting a lot of paint on our paper, so you're also going to need some tape. If you don't have masking tape, then clear scotch tape is fine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape down the edges of your paper. But it's fine if you need to ask someone for help, because tape can be tricky. So we're gonna tape the edge down to your surface. There's one side. Same thing on the other side. And this tape trick is also gonna give you a nice clean edge on your painting once we're finished. So all four sides Tape them down nice and tight to our work area. I love using this trick. It gives a nice professional looking piece. Okay, and you're gonna make sure to press down your edges so they're nice and tight. Just like that. So we're gonna have our paper towel ready, our rinse cup with water, and our paintbrush nice big flat one. And our paint colors we're going to use are going to be pastel colors. So an easy way to make pastel colors is to use a lot of white and just a little drop of each color you want to turn into a nice light pastel. So first we're going to mix a nice big blob of white with a little tiny drop of red and that's going to give us pink. And you're going to mix, mix, mix. And if your pink is not quite as dark as you'd like it, like mine, you take your red paint and you add just one little drop, just like that, and you mix it in. There, that's looking a little better for my taste. A nice pastel pink. And we're going to take that pink, make sure you get a nice amount on your brush, and we're going to start in the top corner here. And we're going to start to create that nice pastel fluffy cloud sky. And you just take your brush back and forth. And I would say that's getting close to as much pink as I want in there. So my next color, we have to mix on our palette. So you're going to rinse, rinse, rinse your brush. Make sure you get all that paint off of there. Dry it off with your paper towel or rag. 
we're going to grab our palette again. Make sure you don't put it in your wet paint. And we're going to mix up our yellow. So yellow is a big blob of white with a tiny blob of yellow in it. And you mix, mix, mix. Until all that white and yellow is mixed together into a nice pastel yellow. And these are some really spring looking colors. Nice and light, like fresh flowers or pretty sunsets. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my light yellow, move my palette carefully, and I'm just gonna go right alongside that pink and bring it down. Make sure you go right over the edge of your tape because that, at the end, once we peel the tape off, we'll have a nice clean cut edge. And you can also push it up into your pink to soften that line that divides the two colors. I'm gonna go back and get some more yellow paint. And just keep working it down till you get about halfway down your paper. Just like that. Okay, now again, you're going to rinse, rinse, rinse all that paint off. I love painting skies. Probably my favorite thing to paint is a nice, colorful sky. Dry our brush. Now, carefully, without smushing your painting, you're going to mix up your blue color. So that's a big blob of white with one drop of blue. You're gonna mix that together. Isn't that beautiful? Nice light blue. And you have lots of paint left, so if you think you need some more paint on your other colors, feel free to throw some on. I'm just going to keep moving along for all you fast painters. Okay, so a nice big amount of blue on our brush. Carefully move your palette. And same thing back and forth, big strokes, bring it down, what a nice color. Remember to go right over your tape because that's going to give us our nice sharp edge when we're finished. Now, I'm thinking I need a little bit more yellow in my mixture, so I'm going to rinse, rinse, rinse my brush off. Dry it. And I'm going to go back into my yellow, that nice yellow that we mixed earlier. Get some on my brush, and right on this line that divides the yellow and the blue, I'm just going to smush it right in. And this is why we taped our paper down, because you'll notice that it's getting a little wrinkly and it's wanting to curl up. And the tape will prevent it from doing that. And then once it's dry, it'll be nice and flat. See now we're getting kind of a little bit of a green color looking in there. That's the yellow mixing with the blue. Very nice. Okay, now again, rinse your brush really well. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And you're gonna dry it on your paper towel. And we're gonna go into our last color. So careful not to smush your painting. 
I'm going to hold the palette up so I don't do that. Now purple is going to be a big blob of white, a tiny drop of blue, and a tiny drop of red. And once you mix that all together, you're going to have a nice violet color. Awesome. Alright, now lots of paint on our brush. And same thing again, just like your pink corner, we're going to have a purple corner. And after this, the fun part is coming up. The fluffy clouds. And they're going to be so easy. Right over the edge of your tape. Now I want this line in between the blue and the purple to be a little softer, so I'm just going to grab some blue. And while my purple is still wet, I'm just going to smush it right in. A little more blue, just like that. Awesome. Now you'll notice it's shiny and that's just because the paint is wet, but that shine will go away just like it did up here. Okay, so I'm really liking the look of my sky. So I'm going to rinse the brush because we are done with that brush for now. Place our brush to the side. And now remember that piece of paper towel I asked you to grab? We're going to gently smush it up. Smush, smush. Not too tight, you want to keep some nice shapes in there. So you have kind of like a puffy end, just like that. And you can hold the other end tight. Now, we're going to grab our palette. And we need white this time, because clouds are fluffy and white. And you're going to dip your paper towel smudger right in that. And you're going to kind of mush it around so you get a nice little white paint stamper. And now the magic part. Now you're going to gently dot some clouds into your sky. Isn't that fun? I'm going to put a few up here. Awesome. And I'm going to make these ones a little brighter. If you want to make your clouds brighter, you just add a little bit more white paint, just like that. And maybe one up here, close to the pink. Very cool. I absolutely love painting clouds because you can't get them wrong because clouds are always different. They're always blowing and changing. They're never the same each day. I'm gonna add one that's really close to the foreground down here so it's gonna be really solid. And you can pull up some wisps gently with your paper towel tip. Make them look like they're flowing in the wind. A little bit more bright white on that cloud there. Very cool. So you can have as many or as few clouds as you want. Try and keep some of your colorful sky in there because we did work very hard on that. Dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to take some right over the edge of the tape and you're going to see why because it's going to look very cool once we peel this tape off of here. Okay, I think that's good for me. 
Now it's probably a good idea for you to wait until your paint is dry, but I'm just going to very carefully peel mine so I can show you how awesome this edge is going to look. So now once you get your tape, you hold down your edge of your paper and gently pull. Isn't that cool? Gently, gently. So cool. And you're gonna do that with each of the sides. Make sure to take your top layer of tape first so you don't rip anything. Finger on the white part and gently pull. And if your paper starts peeling, that's okay. Just peel from the other side. Just make sure to do it gently. Gently. See this beautiful white edge that it's giving us? Isn't that awesome? Gently, gently. Probably one of the coolest tricks for painting is that tape edge trick, because then it looks very professional when you are done. And there you have it, a beautiful pastel fluffy cloud sky. Wasn't that easy? Thanks for joining us again.